Hi, it's Jan, and this is my two-year vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. I have crazy fuzzy hair, and I'm looking in my phone to do this so I can see it. Ooh, it's crazy, and it's gray. Anyway, uh, so it's been two years and two days since I had my surgery. It's showing up in my Facebook uh, feed that today was a day two years ago that I was released from the hospital. And man, it was like two weeks before I was able to sleep in my bed. And it was, it was tough. But it was good. And in the course of that time, I'd gone from 298 pounds plus, you know, I mean, that was my last recorded weight, uh, to down to my lowest was 174. I went down to 171, but I'd had the stomach flu for like, I'd been sick for a while. So I count that 174 as my low weight that I hit. Um, in September, end of September of this year, um, I was working out at Planet Fitness and I was using their circuit training equipment and I hurt my back bad, hurt it bad. And I was out of commission for weeks. My entire exercise routine that I had had, I lost. Um, I had gone from walking six miles a day with my Fitbit and then my Fitbit broke um, and things just went to, to heck. They went to hell. Okay, they went to hell. And I started working out at the gym because I thought it'd be an easier way to not spend the hundred bucks for the new Fitbit. And um, I tried to do that and I ended up getting caught in this whole competition thing with other people and working out around other people and caring about what I looked like when I was working out you know I mean are my pants too tight or am I showing too much and it just I, it spiraled downward from there so I hurt my back working on the circuit training machines and I couldn't even walk for weeks except to the bathroom I couldn't drive for a good couple weeks uh, Halloween came and typically we take the kids out and there's this uh, place where my husband grew up and we walk around there with family. I could barely walk. I was walking just like an old, old lady. I'm 52, you know, and, and sometimes I feel it, but usually I hadn't been. But boy, this hit me hard. Um, by Thanksgiving, I was walking a little bit better, walking out with the dog down to the corner and back, which is three blocks and back. And believe me, that was a victory at that time. So now it's February. I tried going back to the gym in January, hurt my back again. I don't know. I, you know, I kind of think when I was going to the YMCA, I was doing better because their machines seemed to have less impact than the ones at Planet Fitness. I think the ones at Planet Fitness are a little bit more cheaply made. And I think that the treadmills, especially, there's more bang, bang, bang when you walk on it, even at a 2% incline, which is what my physical therapist a long time ago had recommended. But walking outside seems to work better for me, and I don't know why. I just don't. So anyway, today, uh, I've been working up to it, uh, you know, going a mile, a mile and a half, uh, like every other day. Part of my routine that I used to have is I would walk and I'd have my little earbud on and I would listen to a couple chapters in my audio Bible or an audio book and I really liked that but then I my my Bluetooth thing broke and I lost the ability to do that so now I have this back I can listen to something while I walk and today I took a really really nice walk and for the first time in a long time I made it all the way to this my former stopping point which is a halfway you know it's like I don't know exactly how far it is I think it's three miles up maybe two and a half miles up but it took me an hour and I was going in a good clip and when I came back I was sweaty and I stunk and that's the first time I've been sweaty and smelly in a long time so from that time where I was like I had the stomach flu and then I hurt my back I'd gone from 174 ish to this morning 189 and last week 185 now when I got back from my walk I was 186 so I have a solid 12 pounds to get back to the point where I was before uh, most of my pants don't fit anymore 
and I'm trying to, you know, I'm just trying to get it back. Protein drinks again. My, um, my dietitians frown on protein drinks this far. You know, my protein powder is, um, did it today, egg, pow egg powder, 20 some grams of protein, 100, 100 calories, 112 calories, something like that. They frown on it. They want us eating real meals, but honestly, I can't. I have to have that at least once a day to really get things moving. And, um, you know, it's a struggle. The surgery helps because I can't physically eat as much as I used to be able to eat. But, you know, I can still fall into really bad habits, and I have. I've eaten a lot of crap before I go to bed, and I always have done that. The surgery does help in that it limits how much I can physically eat at one time, and that's a blessing. But, you know, there's always a workaround. So it's just how much do I want it? And at two years, I really have had a good taste of what it feels like to have a size 12 body. And I like that. And I'm not going back to a 5X. I really don't want to do that. I can't do that to myself. I sometimes look for people whose body shape is what mine used to be so that I can mentally put myself back in that, yeah, that's what it felt like and that's the way my legs worked when they brushed against each other all the time. And, and I remember how I had a hard time walking upright you know, I was always leaning over my cart. Sometimes I look for that just so that I can remind myself what it used to feel like so that I don't have to relive it. Um, so that's where I am. It's going to be a battle all my life, but I feel like it's a battle I can win because I have a, you know, I have a winning advantage, but it's still a fight every day. So that's it.